from Charlotte, the main event of the Sunday night matches for the Mid-Atlantic Legends Fan Fest. And Cedric Alexander tries to take out Tommy Young. He's not going to endear himself that way. <laughs> <laughs> He's not going to get over the fans here anyway, right? Cedric Alexander from right here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Kick to kill is what he goes by, and that's what he'll be looking for tonight, Les, that corner drop kick, the COD concussion on delivery. That's his move. Now, here's a young man I've got the chance to, to work with some. I've watched him mature. I've watched him grow. Uh, you know, Cedric, great upside to this young man, great upside. I have had the honor and the privilege of calling several of Cedric Alexander's matches with some big names. Some might argue this is one of the biggest he's ever faced as Chris Saban makes his way to the ring. You know, here, here, I, I, I'm curious to see here how Cedric, uh, what his style is, what his his attack plan is tonight. Cedric could go with this guy in, in terms of movement and yep. everything, but I've watched Cedric kind of settle his his offense down, right? Make it a little more methodical. More like the uh, uh, Red Titus, yep. Chase, Chase Owens uh, type of thing. So can, can he slow Saban down or is he gonna try to match him? You know, in this case, Cedric is capable either way. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your internet pay-per-view main event. Introducing first, to my left, he weighs in tonight at 220 pounds. The center of Charlotte, North Carolina, Quick Talk Hill Center, Alexander! I saw this kid for the first time January of 2011. He had been doing this for a whopping two years, and I knew then he was going to be special. Now, the transition he has made over that short period of time. Unbelievable. Yeah, exactly. I, I would liken that to Adam Cole, who is the ROH champion. Right, the Detroit, Michigan, weighing 202 pounds, Chris Saban. the most amazing thing about that is Saban's still from Detroit. I thought that city was gone. <laughs> Are you being facetious? I'm yes. just saying, they're, they're, they're having a tough time in that city. But don't, don't be picking on the Detroiters. Chris Saban, proud Detroiter. We are underway here in our main event, Cedric Alexander versus Chris Saban, two of the top names on the independent scene today. Saban, a long history as a tag team wrestler, along with Alex Shelley in the Motor City Machine Guns. But here tonight as a singles wrestler and taking on Cedric Alexander. And again, you talked about the, the difference he's made in about three and a half years now since yeah. I saw him for the first yeah. time. Right. Uh, he's been wrestling now for so about five and a half, going on six years for this kid. And, and he's just, he's one of those raw talents. Well, you know, uh, when he was teaming with Caprice Coleman, it was good for him, too. Yes. Caprice is a good, solid hand. But I think more than anything, what makes Cedric Alexander a a future star, a star in the making, is the fact that he listens. He, you know, he, he comes to everything. He, he, I've talked to him before when he faced Jay Lethal, when he faced Kevin Steen, when he's faced all these names. You know, I go in there to win and to learn something from them at the exact sure. same time, something I can take on to the sure. next match. And he credits a lot of the success he's had here in the Carolinas and even you know across the United States with kind of, you know, being able to, to learn from those people and apply that again to other names. Sure. Well, you know, and, and I mentioned that he slowed his pace down, and the reason I say that, you know, you know, the 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 adage speed kills, and it doesn't necessarily kill, but it sure creates a lot of mistakes. Yep. Some, and openings. You see there, both these guys trying to be quicker than the other. A little respect there, I think, between Saban and Alexander. Yeah, yeah. I 
handshake. Does it make it tougher to go into combat in that ring with someone you respect, someone that you consider a friend? Is it easier if you don't like the person? Uh, I don't know if it's any easier, you know. I mean, I, I've wrestled guys that I respect. Wrestle, well, you, you should respect everybody sure. you, you're locked up with, right? But they know what you mean, what I mean. Yeah. Well, sure. No, I understand. Um, but, you know, it's like uh, it's not that you walk through the ropes and you hate somebody, but you walk through the ropes and it's business. Right. Roll up here, small package. Pretty nice deep on the arm drive. Good move. Good move. Saban there. Now, you know, uh, Saban is usually a little speedier than his two, but both, well, here again, maybe it's, it's a show of respect between the two. Saban's had some knee injuries, so he's had to right. he's had to change his approach to what he does in the ring just to have longevity, if I believe nothing he's else. he's had two surgeries. Yes, he has. Is that right? And you can see the, the bracing there really clearly around that right leg. Well, he can't right this right. second, but... On the right leg, you can see the, the bracing there. You can see it very clearly. And, you know, uh, with the multiple, the more times they have to cut on that knee, yep. uh, the more careful he's going to be. That's right. That's right. And so he's had to change. So he's had to slow down a little bit too. So yes. both of these guys not quite as speedy as they might have been if we saw this match two or three years ago. But... And slowing down for different reasons, but I, I think for the better for both and, of them. And, you know, now, from a fan's perspective, that may not be a good thing. Right. From a technical, I can't even talk, perspective, it's a great thing. Sure, sure, absolutely. That's one of the things you hear the old man yelling at the training camp, slow down. Yep. Oh, single leg kick there. Alexander takes a breather on the floor, but uh, Chris Saban not known for letting people rest. Up and over, but Alexander out of the way. Oh, a crashing down on that apron. And now Cedric not known for leaving people outside the ring for long either. What's he got planned? A little bit of a mental game there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Realized absolutely. he wasn't going to be able to hit the dive, so you pulls know, up, does a backflip. It's been said over and over. It's, you know, it's a mental chess, yeah. right? It's... Uh, Intimidation is fakes, you know, fade something, pull back, start left, go right. Oh, Cedric, well, hot headed there, might have paid for it. Oh, that running kick. And Cedric Alexander right in the kisser. Coming up slow on this one, too. He is. Is Saban content right now to let the referee make the count? Is a count out win is satisfying? Getting your hand raised, I think, is satisfying. Yeah, I mean, you know, true. but, yeah, obviously, obviously if you can pin a man or submit a man, it, it, it's much more satisfying. But you know what? Getting your name in the win column, take it any way you can get it. I was going to say, visiting the pay window as a winner is, uh, I'm sure, the best feeling. Yes, Absolutely. Absolutely. They were just working the chin lock. Man. Settling in. And this is smart. Cedric Alexander, for you know, known for his speed and all that thing, but as we talked about, he slowed down. Now it's about power. Now it's about explosiveness. It's about this guy getting his legs underneath him and exploding into a kick, exploding into a brain buster, exploding into a backbreaker. It's all about that explosiveness. And when he's sitting on his butt, he can't explode from there. No. But, you know, on the other side, some, sometimes it's, it's shifting gears. It's speeding up, slowing down. Because here's the thing. If you set a steady pace, there, an explosive drop kick, then your opponent has time to, to meter adjust. that. And, and there's the dive, knocking Chris Saban down as Cedric Alexander goes through the ropes. And now playing to the hometown crowd here in Charlotte. Youth maybe, a little mistake there, a little ego? Yeah, 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 I think so. Well, you can't beat him on the floor. It's not flaws count on the floor, This is right? true.
And, and sometimes going out, picking your opponent up and throwing it back in is a mistake, too. Yeah. There again, you know, the, uh, obviously it's, it's trial. Like it, you, you said, know. it's thinking chess. Yep, you roll the dice sometimes. Oh! Like that, that springboard move. But Saban saw it, and there with a drop kick, knocks Cedric Alexander out of the air, and Cedric looks dazed. He does, he does indeed. Talk about the instinct to kick out, to know to kick out before three. How long does that take to, to develop? And does Cedric Alexander have it? it, it yeah, yeah, it takes a while. It, it, you know, but it, it's it's a survival sense too, right? I mean, it's uh, and and over a period of time, a lot of these reflex uh, reaction reflex are just reflex, right? I mean, it's you don't think about it; it's something you do, right? Right. It's just like uh, your shoulders down, you get them up. Well, and got them down there and. Managed to kick out. Back to the front face lock. Now, I've been told that, you know, you're never going to beat a guy with this move. But it wears on them. They yes. have to breathe for both of you almost. Well, you know, at, at any time you can get something where you don't have to put as much effort forth as the guy you've got in the hole, then you've got an advantage. Because he's got to exert the energy to get out. Well, like when Saban had the front face lock, how he was spread out. The body weight was back, right? right. So he's and laying all right on top of Cedric's shoulders. So that's Cedric's got to put forth a lot more effort to get out than Saban does to keep him in. Saban measuring and stomping Cedric now. Chris Saban, an impressive wrestler in his own right. Uh, Looks like Saban slimmed down a little bit. Looks, you know, he's not carrying the uh, same amount of body work that the last time I saw him. It's been a while. A leaner Chris Saban. More chops and woos. Choking him in the corner now, Saban. Taking every bit of that five count. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Chris Saban, within you know, the you, rules. You, you realize, and, and you know, uh, when a guy stays there, you get me to four, back out, foot, two feet. You've, you've fulfilled your obligation to the referee and move right back in. Once that, once that guy starts to come up, you go right back in on him. Now Saban setting up his play here. Got Cedric on the top rope. Now looking for that superplex. Can he get him up and over? Cedric suck in, fight it back. Oh. Now Saban goes down, and Cedric very comfortable on that top rope. As we see as he dives there, diving Lariat. He didn't get the leverage of the arm out, but he got the body weight yep. in on the inside into Saban's torso. But now here's here to me, Chris. I'm not going that way. I'm going this. I'm coming back towards Saban. I'm rolling. And if I have to crawl there, I'm going to try to get, you know, to get to him before he's coming. Right, because he's wasted energy going to exactly. this far side, correct? And now, how but, offensive can you get 18 feet apart? Well, there's that speed we talked about. And that explosiveness we talked about, too. Split leg moonsault. Snaps down. Is he beating Chris Saban, though? No. At least not on that one. Cedric hoping to get out of here early tonight. Still a lot of fight left to Chris Saban. Yeah. Now calling for that backbreaker. You know who I asked? Nobody. Well, I'm driving the car. I mean, really, you know. Uh, looking for that backbreaker. 
Pops the man up in the air, lands on his back, drives the knee into his opponent's back. He's going for it here, but Saban there, raining elbows down to stop it. You notice the difference between the punches from Cedric and the elbows from Saban? More sh uh, oh! Cedric, he's got him stacked up. No. Saban able to twist his body to break the count. Now Cedric to the corner, possibly looking for that frog splash of his. Easy for me to say. Cedric perched up top, might be taking a lot of time here. Yeah, he went for that frog splash and nobody home. Saban right there, and now rolls him over. He's got Cedric in trouble as he beat him though. What's the problem with that top rope there? I put you down, I take the time to climb, I take the time to stand, I take the time to straighten up, I take the time to raise, and what are you doing all this time? Unless I have really nailed you, unless I have you semi-conscious, that is a very risky move. They, they now, you had it, success with high flying. Yeah, but they, they, they call it high risk, but you need to cut that risk back. Right. And, you know, and, that's, and the quicker, if he's going topside, the quicker he gets there and gets down, the less chance there is somebody moving up. A lot of it was the posing on the top rope. Yes. If you're playing Broadway, theatrics are great. If you're playing that squared circle, they should be limited to little or none. Right now they're uh, just laying into each other. Turn your yep. back. Elbow pad comes bad, off. Bad call. Bad call. Yep, and paid for it. Another bad call. They're, we're playing who's going to make the biggest mistake here right now. So now both guys kind of, oh, oh, he went for that drop. He's got him stacked up there. Did you beat Cedric? No. Wow. I thought that was it, Les. Cedric was out by very little. I mean, we're what, talking a, half, a quarter of a second yeah. here, a half a second. Going for that drop kick, it looked like again, and Sabin called him, drove him down into a power bomb, bridged him up. I guess that answered my question from earlier. I guess he does have that instinct, because I think that's all it was that got Cedric Alexander out. He's going to need it again here, and Sabin beat him, though. No, no. How frustrating is that? How frustrating is that to hit a guy and just blast him and have him kick out? Oh, very frustrating, very frustrating. But you know, here's where the, the wider or the more diverse your offensive arsenal is, the more apt you are to win this thing, right? If you can't get him this way, you need to change, you need to shift gears at some point. You can go to the same body part, you just need to go in a different from a different angle. Now looking for his move here. Nice Nice way Cedric scissored the, the arm, the hand. Oh. Saban drives him down, setting up here. Oh, he went for that super kick, but Cedric had it scouted. Nice catch, nice catch. Lots of confusion on the ropes, drives him down. Has he beat Chris Saban? No. And Cedric Alexander, look at that face. He can't believe it. Still fight left in Chris Saban. What are we doing now? Well, Giving our opponent a chance to yep. recoup, right? We're frustrated. You can be frustrated after the fact, right? You go home and be frustrated. You go to the locker room and be frustrated. He's looking for that brain buster. He's put many a guy away with it. Oh, Saban pulls it down, small package. Able to escape. Oh, wow. Man, caught him with that one. And, and now tees one. off. Cedric Alexander in real trouble here as he lost in his hometown. And an arrogant cover by Saban might have been the whole difference, Les. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Exactly. Exactly. You got to wonder if Chris Saban had that one to do over again if he had gone for the traditional lateral press. 
because Cedric was barely able to get that shoulder up at the last possible second. As Saban now. It's hard to say. Looked like he was sitting up. He turned around. Cedric turned his back. You talked about that. Yes. Now laying in on those forearms. There he is turning his back. Let's see how, many, yep. see how many mistakes we can make. Spinning <laughs> kick there. That's not worked out all night. Oh, there it is. There it is. The COD concussion on delivery. Can he follow with the backbreaker? Yes. Has Cedric beat Chris Saban? Has Cedric beat yes. Chris Saban? Yes, he him. has. He's got him. Cedric Alexander victorious here at the Mid-Atlantic Legends Fan Fest. Saturday night matches, main event, Les. What a great match from these it guys. It has been a tremendous, tremendous show, top to bottom. Several good matches, and this puts the icing on the cake. There is your winner, folks, Cedric Alexander.